sort of trying to monitor the recession. In Australia, um, we run a benchmarking <coughs> program where we basically mix up all the charities' data. And one of the key questions we wanted to know in the last uh, round of that was, uh, is the recession actually making any difference at all? One of the key things that we find uh, is that we have this thing called, uh, I, I call it basically anecdote problem, uh, where what happens, I don't know why it keeps doing that, I've absolutely nothing to do with that, by the way. Uh, what happens is that people start talking about the recession. Um, I also have a phone agency, and the phone agency up in Brisbane, the callers are saying, oh, people are saying no because the recession, the recession's beginning to hit in Australia, economic downturns beginning to hit. We look at the statistics, and no, it's not. Uh, but the biggest excuse from non-donors is now economic downturn. But it always has been in Australia. They're just using a different phrase. But they've always said the reason that I can't support you this time is because I can't afford it. Or I'm leaving the country. So Australia should have no people. <laughs> 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 to believe that. Um, so what we did is we put all the data together. And we found out that in Australia there has been absolutely no impact whatsoever of the, by the recession or the economic downturn on regular giving. In fact, regular giving is still growing at a rate comparable to what it grew in the first two quarters of last year. We also looked at direct mail appeals. About one in four Australian charities said that the recession had hit their, their appeals at the beginning of this year. We looked at the results when we compiled them all, and we found that no, they haven't. It's just that about one in four um, appeals just don't do very well, and you've got to blame something other than the fact that your appeal was crap. So um, again, there's no, there's no evidence whatsoever that individual gifts in Australia have been harmed. Now, it is different in Australia. The banks are mostly capitalised. Australia is in a boom. The strength of the US dollar is going to do us lots of favours. Basically, what we export is uh, the things that help the world work and make it such a beautiful place, namely coal and uranium. Um, and we basically dig stuff out of the earth. So we're going to be probably fine for certainly a short term. We also know that it's not recession that actually harms uh, consumer spending, including charities. It's two things. One is unemployment, so people have got no jobs. And the other one is fear of unemployment, uh, hence responsibility. <coughs> what we've done is we've created this blog, which is an, o an open forum. And what I'm doing is inviting people to contribute to this blog. It's called Recession Watch. And it, I don't know if anybody else has tried to find stuff on the internet. I'm really sorry about the splashing thing. I have no idea what's going on. Um, uh, so we've been compiling data from Australia, but we're also getting some data from Canada. Uh, I spoke to Neil Galford and Steve Thomas from Canada, and they were saying that in Canada, appeals and regular giving have not had a decline because of the recession from any data that they can see. Uh, they are actually seeing a decline that is continuing at the same rate in appeals in the last three years. However, Steve did give me another anecdote where a major donor, he's also the chair of Amnesty International Canada's capital campaign, and uh, he had a pledge a few weeks ago for Steve here. Uh, I think it was $10,000, and the donor just came back to him and said, look, because of the economic downturn, uh, I'm not going to do that. So maybe it's beginning to hit at those high-value donors, or some of those high-value donors. The other thing... So please go to this blog and submit stuff. Email me any data. I prefer data than opinion. So what the Charity Commission in the UK found out that one in four fundraisers in the UK thought that uh, the recession was hitting donations as well. But it's opinion, and it's because their appeals were crap, probably. If it was one in two, I'd be really quite worried, um, because that might actually be real. But at one in four, I think that one in four people thought the tsunami harmed their income, and one in four thought that, you know, so I'm not too worried about one in four. There's quite a lot of stuff on here already. One of the big things that we also did, which was more of a promotional piece, uh, but it's available if you want it. It's an email. It was done for basically the night of business. But we put together a white paper about the recession where we went into detail about what might happen, for example, on bequests. Uh, I didn't mention it in here because it's really on the hoof that we're finding out more stuff, but bequests. Of course they're going to go down if property value goes down, but it's actually relatively easy to recruit them to increase the number of bequests on your uh, program anyway. It's as easy as it is to do that, and more easy to do that than the impact of the recession. And there's quite a lot of stuff like that. We go into the different types, regular giving, corporate. The 
data that we showed in Australia showed that corporates have fled charities already in Australia before the impact has really hit Australia. So corporates, being the 